Wait a minute. We do have swim baits, so okay. you know uh, this is probably a hard quad to base, but you're going Prepare to, to get ridiculed, Mike. No, I know. <laughs> no, not you're at going all. To see some. Not at all. So this was one of my favorites back in the day, and like I, I can tell you, me and Brian, some of the days we had with this bait. Oh yeah. I'm trying to find our color. I thought I had one or two in here somewhere. Maybe you. Here you go. That was actually the color. That yeah, was. That was the color. But through lines. Okay. Yeah. Through lines when they first came out, dude, were terroristic for us around oh, here. Yeah. You I know? believe it. They like, never saw nothing like it. Never saw anything like it. Nope. Multiple is it, is 20 it pound days. Of amazing this. how differently those fish react to those style baits. Oh, yeah. Ridiculous. Seen them. Yep. It was unbelievable. And here's the crazy thing. So we had probably two or three years where it was pretty automatic, dude, when we'd go out with that bait. Pretty automatic. But then it was like the fourth year, we saw the, the numbers going down. You know why? Because you guys wore out your own down. bite. We wore out our own bite. Yeah. We I've really seen, I've did. done it. Yeah. I've seen it happen. Yeah. We really, really did. Yeah. Well, you can single handedly wear out a population of fish. Yeah. But that was. But that damn, was you it. guys took four years to do it. That's a pretty good run. <laughs> that man. was an epic. <laughs> that was an good. epic bait for us, man. Did you guys. So you guys obviously had a lot of confidence in this baby E size, right? Yeah. Did it didn't make you guys want to go to the bigger versions no, of it? I, that, that never caught on nope. out here, you know? I had no clue, man. There's a Skeet Reese. Look at that. The Rago Look at bait. that. That's back when Skeet was happy. Look. <laughs> Didn't he just buy a giraffe or something? Did he buy a giraffe? I think so. Painted it yellow. Wow. That's yeah. cool. He's got a Lambo and a giraffe now. Yep. Wow. Lucky guy. That's crazy. Isn't this crazy? Dude. Yeah. That's so good. Yeah, so you're not gonna, I don't think you're gonna find any good, good swim baits in here. I don't know. What the hell is that thing? It says it's it in there. I have no idea. Giant slam or something? I don't know what that is. Some Robos. It's interesting. MC swim bait. Looks more like a striper style. I don't I have striper. Stripers. I don't think I have anything epic in here. I might have some. I got some crazy Japan only here. There was just always some kind of mysticism with anything that came from Japan back in the day. Yeah. Everything. Uh oh! Wait a minute! Hey! Love how you wiggling! That's, hey! a, that's a proper bag right uh -oh. there, boys and girls. I knew I would find one. Hold on a second. What do we got here? It sure looks like a couple. I don't know what this little guy is. That might be some jackal junk. Get rid of that. Shout the jackal. <laughs> hey, look, these look like Huddleston's. Those are huds. Ooh. I saw Whoa. a in there too. Wait a minute, oh. that ain't a Huddleston. That's a... Dude. Dude, no. that's, this that's, is a special one, that's, bro. That's the one right there, This man. is the... You talked about this one the other I day. I did, I did. So, this was the first bigger option to this to come out on the market. Yeah. And it's funny, because when this first came out, and this is one of the first runs, because you, you can tell from the solid white body, they retailed for thirty nine ninety nine, and they just sat on the shelf. Yeah. Because number one, I felt like it was big, so yeah, that threw things. guys off, and then nobody had confidence in it yet. So for yeah. years, dude, yeah, like people just let them sit in the shelf for thirty nine ninety nine, and then it went away. And then guys like myself were fishing it, because most people weren't. Yeah. So those fish that were worn out. With this, like you guys witnessed with that BABE, yeah. you know, same thing was going on at home. Yeah. So I was coming behind and catching them on this. On the bigger one. Including that 17 pounder. Wow. Look at that and thing, I actually dude. have caught more fish on the original run with a white body than I did with the prettier, wow. clear version. Like the phantom one that you had. Yeah. Right? Like aesthetically, that looks a lot better to us as humans. Yep. But I don't know, there's something about like those white body a little ones. Little bit, Smith. Small humans. Ones. Got it. Freaking done, man. So cool, dude. Tell me about the rabbit hole that you would go through trying to like rig these things. Oh, yeah. Crazy. Like, you know, like this whole thing, again, back in that big bait posse era when I was going out there and, you know, learning this and how detailed they were, I tried bringing it back east yeah. and like remembering everything they did. But the, the double prong frog hook, the, the piece of, you know, uh, wire that secured it. Painting it red, yeah. having stuff blended in, like 
pipe oh, yeah. cleaner gill. Oh yeah, home. there I was cut the fins out. To oh have a little god, there was all this uh, detail to it, there. you know. But when I so now, now you you are paying seventy five to two hundred bucks for that bait. Oh yeah, wow. Yeah, like I posted something recently with with that original bait oh, within it, and people freaked out. Is it's like right? it'd be like it'd be like an original wiggle wart to the crankbait yeah, culture. Yeah, right. You know, but it is so cool. Like honestly, like that bait right there is old. This is like just on the back end of when I traveled out west and first saw it, and I'm I'm seeing it again. It's making me want to go throw a big bait. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> For How's sure. He, smell? he smells good. He smells good. There's another one in a bag still. Oh, dude. Yep. Bait That's smell. A deal. I think that was a hatchery color. Magnum Light 9.5. Ooh. For her pleasure. Mm. Trouser <laughs> trout. Yeah. Trouser trout, baby. That's cool to see like a proper big bait in the collection. And like, then we got some little Huddleston crawls thrown in there for good measure. Do you Ryan know what's funny about there. that bait, man? The first time I used that thing, I caught like 19 fish in a club tournament. And I was just like, on Yo, the little crawl? This is the deal. The little crawl just nose hooking it like a live crawdad. Really? And I was just like, Yeah, oh, dude. This yeah, because look, see awesome. they have a wire to nose hook it. So and it's even it pre-weighted. It it's it's look, it's pre-weighted in the back. So it it moves yep. like a real crawl dad, yeah. you know? Power worm effect, never caught another fish on it. <laughs> <laughs> Go Isn't that crazy? Is so like, Go figure. I don't know, man. I thought I discovered gold that first day. They were on it. They were on it. Dude, this is I mean, what do you think about that, Brian the Carpenter? When you, I mean, you've been holding that thing I want to get staring I want, at it. Yeah, because I want actually to take a picture of you two guys holding it. Okay. In my mind, I think that needs to happen. So that's, okay. why, that's why I'm kind of holding it. Is, is a bait that size more in your wheelhouse, Brian? Is that something you'd be like, dude, I can catch a fish on that? Yeah, Six but, inch, but, seven I'm, inch. but I'm really thinking like the drawing power. Oh, it's a real thing. Yeah, okay. because even just being out with buddies of mine, throwing a Chad Shad and then picking up the legend the next size up and seeing how many more fish showed themselves. Wait till you see the you know what I mean? Right. So uh, I get what he's When they follow. Oh, I'm telling you, yeah. it's yeah. gnarly. Right, because you're going to see them in any visibility and see how far these things will come About and just it. stay with it. And you can read them, like yeah. they'll, they'll rush up to the bait and that's when you, you know, like do your kick thing. Them, do yeah. a little kick in it. Yeah. You can kick totally it. trigger them, man. It's wild, but you can't do that with a Senko or a And you can't do it right. in January when the lakes are frozen <laughs> right. in New Jersey. It's a little hard to do with ice on the top. Yeah. Ah, I'm ready to Dude, go. I caught a I'm ton of three and a half, four pound fish on that big one. Yep. I'm sure. I'd get annoyed. Yeah. Yep. Like I was annoyed. Like, it's not outside of their, you know, wheelhouse. Like, they can eat a bait that size, especially with all the perch you guys have. I agree, dude. And those shad, yeah. they're, they're for sure eating those gizzards. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a three and a half, four pounder is eating those you gizzards. Know they you are. see that one Johnny caught on Saturday with that. Oh, right. That, you know, I don't know what the hell was in that thing's belly. That was a micro. It, might have been a it was micro almost pound. three pounds of 15 inches. Crazy. Yeah. Round. 34. Round. Uh, that's so crazy. There's a pig. I mean, you got trailers, tubes. Yeah, I got a lot when of When do you plan on using this stuff? A lot of this <laughs> stuff I'll probably never, you know, I'll probably never That is never a hoarder. Use. That's what's a, called a hoarder. Yeah. The, the plastic, like I said, though, the plastics, I'm more willing to let go than the hard baits. The hard baits. Got it. Vegas is getting there all There is these. something special about oh, a hard yeah. bait, though. I'm not, gonna, I'm not ever getting rid of any of these hard baits. Good. I'll pass wow. them down to Vegas before I get rid of them. Wow. I feel that strongly about it, you know? It's crazy. Crazy to see. A lot of memories, man. Just for nights like this, just to talk about it and remember. It's yeah. fun. Now, yeah. this has been fun to go down memory lane with yeah. you guys. Jigs. Oh. Jigs. Let's talk about yeah. jig culture back then. Yes. yes. That field's definitely different than it is now. Yeah. So, jigs, it's funny because jigs, I pro you probably won't find a lot because the problem with jigs is they get rusty. You know what I mean? Lose They're the more, lose the skirts. Yeah, the you, have, break. you know what jig I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. So, Do old, you have any? old school jigs. So, for us, one of the originals was a Riverside. There was this Riverside uh, jig that we fished. I don't even remember the name now, do you? With the flat head? No. That was a big one. Uh, rattleback, the original Rattleback, rattleback yep. jigs. Single and triple Rattlebacks were old ones for us. Yep. Arkies in the beginning. Stanley's. The first jig we ever threw was an Oki Light. Oki Light. Do you remember that? Yeah. You came with Those that. must be regional. Like. So this Oki Light things. was like a jig that... The Oki Light had an epoxy head yeah. with a small lead core. So, be slower. yeah, oh, so like no for us around here, yeah. you got to remember, like, dude, Shot. a half ounce jig in a place that's deepest parts, four feet. It's in that black muck. Yeah, mucky. But when we got these oaky lights, it was one of the first jigs we ever fished. 
and we started seeing these big fish respond. Like I remember, I, I will never forget where it's a place called Stumpedy. Okay. We're waiting uh, Stumpedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a place that's just stumps everywhere. And I remember seeing a four pounder come up and eat this oaky light. And it was like, I had never even caught a jig fish yet at that <laughs> point, you know? But then we started going to Al this lake called Alloway Lake. Yeah. And we would force ourselves. And it was the coolest thing. Because back then, you know, we were so young. Right. We just, we all had John boats for the How first young? time. 18, okay. 19. Younger you know, than just because it was maybe younger were driving us. Yeah. 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 We're getting rides from our moms. Yeah. We're we talking 14, 15. Oh, yeah. 14, 15, but even 16. back then, I remember consciously we would say, you know, instead of like, how hard is it to get a young kid to not bring all his stuff? Impossible. But, but we would go <laughs> and we would say, let's figure out jigs today. Yeah. yeah. I remember, dude, going with Sick. these dudes and like Dave, Dave was always ahead of the curve. Our guy, he Dave. He was willing to try some stuff. He yeah. was always, mm -hmm. he was the first one to rock a bait caster, the yep. first one to do power fishing techniques. Got it. And we were still using little spinning rods you know and here's something not known mike's first rods were all spin cast spin cast yeah. i actually wow. started with spin cast yeah. early, my, my early first early one was spin cast oh yeah, yeah. early early on but i'm not talking about cast. just the snoopy rod you like took it serious you oh, had yeah. the most expensive spin i had cast. a good spin cast yeah. it had it was as close to being a bait caster as you can get got it but then i advanced to spinning and i sort of ran with that for a lot of years but i was reluctant to a bait caster mm -hmm. i would say 17 16 mm, 17 probably yeah probably. where dave probably did it at like 12 11 12 13 it yeah. took me another three or four years before i really grabbed on to a bait caster you know and i remember my first bait caster i got from best yeah. it was a ryobi <laughs> it was a company that made bikes right made this little ryobi yeah my first uh, bait caster was a ryobi v spool oh. it was a little and it wasn't even low profile. It sort of had a hybrid. It wasn't a round reel, but it had a bump to it. But it was small. It was one that kind of you could palm. And that's the one I sort of learned on, you know, and just advanced and advanced. Old Bantam. Yeah. An old Bantam. Shitty ass Bantam. Yeah. 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 Mine was a, a Daiwa Black Widow. It, I remember Black I, Widow. I couldn't make a cast without backlashing. Yeah. I couldn't. I spent more time picking out backlashes than I did fishing. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. But that first one, yeah, come I, a long way. the first fish I caught on a bait caster with heavy line, I think it was 10 pound. Yep. And it was a quarter ounce mini trap in the croft color, that like that really cool orange one. Yeah. Kind of natural, like gold to, like hues to it. It The power that I was feeling versus a spinning setup. Yeah. Right. Yep. It was just like, yo, this is crazy. Yeah. Which like on a two a and a half bit. pound fish. Yeah. But like the experience was totally different. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah, and I was hooked. I think you get. I think when you find bait casting and you find power fishing, it's instant. It's instant rush. Like yeah. I remember those first couple jig fish that we caught. And you'd throw in that, you know, tree or bush, oh, and just crack. The line would jump, and oh, you just yeah. like something to that. It was it. Want, you know? Yeah. And like big bait fishing is the epiphany of that, right? Right. But for us. Even just a jig or a spinner bait and catching a big one was like it was a, to me it was like a cleaner experience too because you remember the spinning reels in the day didn't have infinite instant anti reverse oh, yeah. right. so there was back play slap. and they'd come back and hit you in the, the knuckle and the, slap dude the drag sucked the drag yep. sucked the drag sucked like even to this day I still like when I'm fighting a fish I've learned that way so I still do it. I feed oh. the fish line because back in the day you had to do that. Right. Either you had you the back reel. The oh, you couldn't rely. You rely on the drag. You were you were you were mess, you you were losing yeah. a couple. Saturday at, at at sunset, I was feeding the fish line. Yeah, it was a carp. Right. <laughs> yeah. right. We didn't know. We, we didn't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 tickled him in the ass. So <laughs> I remember my very first jig jig bite. It was wow. at the DoD. Yeah, I was with Braz. Yeah. And I might have been using like his rod, or I just got my my uh, my my combo, and I flip it in there, and I got that bite, and I go and set the hook, and the, the first ones had the push button on the side, right? Oh, like a wasn't flipping like, switch kind of. Yeah, well, yeah. It wasn't right. The, the thumb rail came, the thumb spool oh, came yeah. after. It was a side button. Yeah, that's right. I set the hook and mashed that at the same time. I just. I just oh. Yeah. <laughs> Did you land a fish and hand line? Hell no, oh, dude. Oh, I got no man. hook set and the, and the spool was like that. That pickerel did you dirty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, and, and I remember the rush of 
of flipping it in there made a good pitch because we were practicing pitching for a while. Yeah. We to, oh, that's a thing. We used to practice it in our yard. Yeah, and, and it was harder room. with those like rough reels back then. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They weren't as smooth. Oh, hell no. Yeah. You know, so we were we would practice a lot in the yard with a can or whatever cup. Um, but I remember just the rush of making that and thump, and it didn't go my way, but I was still hooked. Oh yeah. And I had this monster backlash to try to yeah. get out to get back and get that yeah. get that fight again. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and it's funny how Rod, Rod size and action change too. Because like I remember, Big Rod six 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 like and the materials <laughs> like I remember boron. Oh yeah, a lot of boron. Yeah. I remember like composite rods and you know seven foot was a big rod. Yeah, that and was then, a deep cranking rod. Oh yeah, and rod. then like as the flipping thing, you know D Thomas and you know then it spread out east a little, then up our way, and then you know like seven and a half foot rod people were like it was like blowing their mind like a seven and a half foot rod right who the hell would own that yeah <laughs> and yeah. now you look at it you're They're like all seven and a half yeah, yeah like you know if you don't own a seven and a half you suck yeah it's crazy man it's that's crazy. so cool so you man, don't have any riversides i probably don't have any i i don't know maybe crack open some of them i think the jig selection here, like, here, I think, are these some jigs or are these frogs? What are they right there? Those are like frogs. Oh, they're frogs. That's hot, maybe jigs. The second one down. Looks like skirt material. Oh, some jigs. Oh, some, some jigs. Jiggies. There you go, Bri. Hmm? That's some jigs. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, this is all much later, though. Hmm, much later. That's, that might be an early, nah, that's a piece of shit, too. There's a good old one, though. Like oh, I remember that line. one. Is that? No. So this was this was a L a company by I think called L and M that Pete Glusick turned me on to, and he actually uh, he won an invitational on Lake Martin in Alabama, fishing this for largemouth when everybody was doodling for spots. Oh. Dude, it blew their mind. A guy from Jersey came down to Alabama and won flipping a jig. But look at the. You know, it's big, round rubber. Yeah. It's round I rubber. That. Look at the size of that. It's original round rubber, you know? It looks good. It's good cold water jig right there, you know? Oh, we just a <gasps> random pack of stuff. Oh. Well, we, we just take your breath away right now. Uh, well, the Pit Boss Jr. in the color that it's probably just <laughs> modeled with a bunch of other stuff in there, but catch a lot on that Pit Boss Jr. What the heck is this thing, dude? Uh, yeah. What yeah. is that? I have no idea, Mike. <laughs> Why is it in that box? I have no idea. Oh, and something is bleeding like predator blood. You ever see predator? It's got oh, that sh yeah. Chartreuse blood. I ain't scared of no man. <laughs> so, that ain't no man. man. Yeah, I, I think finding old jigs is probably Oh, wait a minute. I say that. Oh. oh. And not Come quite on. as old. Hold on. Not quite as old. I'll show you just a couple of the ones we used to throw. So these are just more traditional Arky style heads, old Stanley style heads. But look what found its way in here. The old man stone jig. There's a stone jig. Look at that. Yep. Look at that. Little Delta special skirt color. That little rabbit jig, ears dude. on the back. That was my deal. And this is the jig I won the classic on, but it was based off oh, wow. of that old Riverside yeah. that we used to throw. Them fools stopped making it and yeah. he jumped right on it. Yeah, they stopped making it and then we have a good friend, John McGraw, who uh, now is working for the Mint. So he's a sculptor. He has, a, you know, his education's in art and sculpting. So he took that old head design and actually carved texture into it. And we were just making them here, but then we got Mans to do it and then won the classic and there you have it. On that color, right there. That's some history for you boys and girls. On that color? Yeah. I wonder if that's the jig. Wow. It's what? got the cut skirt, the cut guard on it. I, I might say, have to keep that talk, out. Talk about cutting the guards yeah, and what yeah. art form oh, yeah. that was back in the day. Yeah. Because it had me, like, my, it had my head spinning as a youngster. That's an old Stanley. Yeah. So, I mean, the concept was, you know, when the full size, you know, they'd had, back then, again, all them, even the materials, you didn't have as much choice. So there was one thickness, everybody put really 40, bushy. yeah, 40 strands or whatever. So we would cut it and we always sort of cut it to the point of the hook and we also cut it on an angle, you know? We sort of cut the thick, more thickness out of this part than we did the very back. And it just created a jig that you could fish better through heavy cover, you know? And you get more hookup percentage, you know? 
Yeah. That's an old Rods used to take the uh, needle nose sometimes. Yeah. And put the needle nose right there and squeeze it. Yeah. And just get that. Gap it out just a little bit. Gap it out a little yeah. bit. You could do that. Yeah. Just give yourself a bigger it's gap crazy. to it. This is crazy. It's crazy. I might keep that one out. It might be historical. That's rad. But that's an old one. Like that's one that, that's an Arky or a Stanley. Yeah. And that's like one before. Look at it. Look at the hook. It's like, look at oh, it. It's wow. like an Aberdeen. <laughs> yeah. All right. But like this is back before we threw jigs. I owned a pack of jigs. And one time me and Brian fished this lake called Compton's. I was thinking of that earlier. And it's before any of us had boats. Was Brian was the first one in the crew to have a boat. It was an inflatable boat. I had a raft. It was literally Sick. a raft. I had a raft. But dude, Sick. a raft for no, us? I get it. Dude, oh, yeah. our eyes were like, dude, we're, we're like, off Brian's the got a raft. Yeah. Brian's got a, he's got a raft. The possibilities are Oh yeah. Now. Yeah, dude, we're getting off the bank. Yeah. 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 yeah, so we took this raft out and we had our, uh, you know, we had these jigs. I remember, this was early on before we threw them. And I got a card of jigs. So they would sell right, them right. cards. I remember yeah, that. Yeah. And it was this error. And I had this card of jigs. And we went to this swim platform that was out in the middle. We fished around and we were getting bit. I'm like, yeah. oh, let's go out there and fish off the swim platform. Yeah. yeah, 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 cool, cool. So we're fishing, we're fishing. We turn around, the freaking raft she gone. floats away. <laughs> it's gone. So now we're stuck. And our moms are coming to pick us up or something. So, dude, we're panicking. We're like looking at our boxes. Nobody's got anything heavy. Oh, to try to snag yeah, the rod. Yeah, I've got a card. Card. Yeah, I've got a card of yeah. these like half ounce jigs. So we start that putting was, these you were jigs still using on. The spin cast. And the thing so it. far away, we're trying to bomb cast it to hit the raft, and we're snapping the jigs off. On the <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> and the thing goes flying. I think you had to strip down and go get it. I did. I had to swim. Yeah, for that. that's how you year was that. I think it was. I can't remember. It wasn't bad. Oh, was okay. it? I don't remember. But so this raft was like a two-man raft. It was, I don't know, I think it was red and black, right? Yeah, and gray, I, gray, yeah. And, and I built, I, I cut a piece of plywood out as a floorboard so that it was a little bit more stable. And I, and on the back, I, I cut a piece of ply out. And so we had something to mount a trolling motor to. Yeah. Had a little battery in there, had a little trolling motor on it. Um, and then the way to get it to the lake... My my mom had this Dodge <laughs> Omni, this silver Dodge Omni yes. with a roof rack, and a Dodge Omni is like yes. it looks, it's the, it's the most hideous car ever. It's horrible, um, and that thing would be on strapped to the roof, and we we're tying ropes around it and through the windows <laughs> to hold it on. I remember like, going down the road and the raft kind of folding in half. You know what I mean? Wow. Oh, it was bad, man. But, you know, it's whatever it takes. I do, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Good memories. Got us, got us off the bank. That's awesome. Good memories. I, I love that. That's there, part of your guys' story, man. Oh! Boy. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't want you to see that. Uh oh. Oh, God. Yeah. I didn't uh, want you to see that. That was trouble. Now, these were, these were one of our Johns because these were all cedar. These are all different, you know, they all be a little different. You'd have to find good ones. These are the 200. Oh, yeah. These are 200s, which was great because this was an early, you know, four, four footer, oh. which is a great square build depth, you right. know? Right. And uh, it had a great, you know, if you looked at it, it had a round bill, you know, versus, you know, a square bill and it just came off of stuff different. But this is the one I was throwing when I fished with Van Dam, when I drew Van Dam from the back. And I, 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 it was an open, it was a pro on pro, but I had to get in the back. And I seed it to him, I said, whatever, just take yours. And this is that story I was telling you where the camera boat's on us. You're snagged. Yeah, I'm snagged with a pose 200, probably in, like in the same color. And it, I, it's on a piece of brush or a stump and I'm like, and he's not going back for it. He's doing his own thing. <laughs> he's like, break it off, bitch, you know. Whatever. <laughs> and I'm just like, two, two, two. And I'm like, come on, come on. And as he's and you're still probably going, freeze pool at the same time. Oh, yeah, time, right? probably letting it freeze pool and then getting more right. pressure. Right. Right. Every Everywhere. way I can get. And it's like a minute's gone past, and it's like a mile behind me. <laughs> and the camera boat's yeah. still on me. Tung, tung. And all of a sudden, I felt, and finally I hit it, and, tung, and it felt pop off. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I got it. And then I tung. grabbed that handle, and it just went. It like hit so hard, it almost ripped the rod out of my hands. Oh, come on. And I caught a four pounder. It was the first one of the day with the camera boat. This is. Before I was, I didn't do anything yet. I was still fishing Sick. locally, you know? Where is that footage? Oh, dude. It's, it's somewhere. It's, in the it's somewhere. It's somewhere. What event? It was uh, the Bugs Island BASS 
Invitational that Kevin ended up winning. But I ended up st still coming in the top five. Charlie Hartley had a real good tournament there. Came in top five. Came in top five. Oh, oh, oh yeah. That's what's up. Oh, oh yeah. Early success. Do you know what year? I want to say it was actually, I did have my boat. So it was after I won the co-angler title, but it was before I was, it was still green. So I would say it was like 95, 6. Wow. Bugs Island, Bugs Island 95, 96, right okay. around there. Right. Yeah, fall tournament, September we'll tournament. Find that footage. Yeah. And hey, you know you're an OG now, right? <laughs> like you are an OG. <laughs> It makes me feel old. Nah, That's man. it. I feel hey, old and worthless. After the footage we're about to show you guys, this fool ain't old. This <laughs> fool <laughs> <laughs> ain't old. Right? Dude, nah. This is nice. actually one. Oh. So here's here's one of these ones that you see, and you straight up think of the possibilities even now with this. This is an old one. I think Lord Jensen made it. This is called a Herb's Dilly. But look at think about this. Like like, okay the. the the, the construction's not right, but the concept's right. Right. Dude, it's an inline buzz bait with a spoon body with a single hook. Do you, we could fish this stuff over everything, ah. but, but a main key for this for us back in the day was when we fished places that had chestnuts. And it's this vegetation, it's like hyacinth, but thicker, but it's wow. flat, but it's flat. Okay. And you could fish this over chestnuts and it would push and it would sort of, every once in a while it hit a little hole and it would sputter and push and they would they, they would, would track the, that oh dude they would knock the hell out of that one what was your hundred percentage still, like on that thing? not very good <laughs> uh, yeah. that's what i mean like i could build a better one like it's got like an anodized hook on it yeah. and you know i could build is. a better one the concept's great right who's that in the johnson silver minnow? and a johnson silver minnow right See, that always seems to me like an east coast thing because number one we didn't we didn't have the vegetation that right. they always marketed right. to right. be fished in Crazy, dude. What do you got here, Mike? Oh, man. Some minners. You got some minner baits. I see a lot of, I see a lot of rogues. What do we got? What's the rogue, man. Oh, that's a molicky. Molicky. Find a Dude, I used to catch him on the rogue, man. The rogue and the bomber long A, which was bomber in here. Bomber long A. Yeah, you got a whole bunch of them. That's cool, man. This, this bomber long A was that first bait that I, I gained confidence uh, sweep retrieving. A minnow bait, just pulling it, pausing it, big pulling pulls. it. Yeah, yeah, big pulls. Yeah. What is that thing? No, that sure looks good, though. That looks good. That looks really good. The color does too. Yeah, and the it's probably a real shell. Is that Japanese bait? It's got to be. Yeah, because that's this is one too, right here, right? Yeah. Dude, the Japanese yeah. jerk baits out of the nineties had such a mystique to them. Like they're yeah. like, oh, dude. Cause they just had next level detail and next artistry and for the yeah. time realism look at these things dude oh dude what are these that's a jackal but here you're bringing up history now now i gotta i i instantly again remember oh, look at this dude hold on let me back in here i gotta show you this john because this is I was exactly. always fascinated by those big build deep yeah. jerk baits, but never figured yeah. it out. So this is an old rebel. And I remember growing up, I had one lake that I went to every summer called Fairview Lake. And for like me and Brian actually went up one year with me a couple of years. Dude, deep, clean, rocky. Okay. So you got out of this stuff and yeah. expanded my horizons. But I remember catching them really, really good on this when, it, when the water was cold. And it was a three hooked bait. But I would take that middle hook off. I'd add two bigger trebles, put suspension strips. Like even back then, dude, I'm tinkering. You know what I mean? For like sure. old school, like for sure. Cause late eighties, late eighties, tinkering with stuff just to get it to run better, do something different. You know, adding that dot. Like I remember, I just carried right. a sharpie with me, added yeah. the dot. Yeah. But that caught a lot of fish right, for, right there. You know what I'm day. curious about? A lot. You're retrieving cadence with that thing. I, I think I did a lot of pulling with it too. Really? I really I, do. I was gonna say with the big bill, yeah. I don't, I don't yeah. see a whole lot of I think I was jerky. pulling on it yeah. to like where I'd yeah. crank it down and then just right. sweep it. And it like try to get that thing yeah. to slow. And I think I did a lot of pulling with that one too. Dude, that's a good box. Neat stuff in there. Bro. I have I young go back I got you print. should. It looks pretty good. There's some little treasures in there, right? <laughs> Yeah, man. I like that box. <laughs> I like that box. Get a marker, man. mark that one. It says jerks on it, so that's easy to remember. I'm a jerk. <laughs> Damn. Dude, memories. 
Yeah, the the box. Dude, we could be in here for hours. Oh, what a God. time warp. Right. Sure, sure. This is good. so sick. It's cool that I see beats that I can relate to. Still, being on the literal opposite side of the country, yeah. you know, in that same time frame, man, I was just a little kid, like 10, 11, 12. Yeah. And like all of it was like amazing and new to me. Yeah. It's cool, isn't it? <laughs> you try with this. That's a depths. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've seen that. That's a depths. That's a bluegill shape. It's like a bull flat. You're or into something? that? Yeah. yeah. I think it is a bull flat. Yeah. Mess with them yet? Yeah, it's a good bait. I've caught fish on them out here, out back. It's a good one. Yeah. 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 Red. Yeah. Colors cool color. Blue. Nah, I got some I got some bluegill colors in there. Hmm. All those came back with me from Japan when I took my Japan trip. And oh. that was dude, that was the deal back then. And you're talking to you know, how long ago was that already? It had to be I went did I go I went before the Delaware River win, so it was Did you? Oh yeah. Years ago, dude. Yeah, that's six years ago. I either ago. went right before or right after. I think I went right before. Huh. So six years ago in Japan, all these bluegill shapes were already popping off. Right. And now they're finally just getting here, you know? Yeah, we are like five years behind. Oh, yeah. Just like the fishing industry in general is always five to ten years behind the rest of the world. Right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they were, they were already doing those shapes. It's crazy, man. Crazy. Cool. That's such a, you know, profile silhouette. Concept versus realism. Yep. 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 Blue Girl profile. Yeah. You are correct. Yeah, I like it. Yep. I mean, dude, a lot of times they're some of the best baits ever. Psycho. Even in the big bait world, the triple trout. That thing's not very realistic. All right. Yep. Profile, shape. Style and profile. Smiling like a mother, though. <gasps> <laughs> he ain't gonna miss him, man. Take him out. Hey, man. He only know about him. him. What you find there? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Theft. Theft. <laughs> Fate that, folks. Mm. Oh, I'm keeping some of these out, man. I'm keeping some of these out. This is amazing. It's good man. going through. Now I, now, I, now I found some new baits to tinker with. You right? know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, man. That's awesome. You couldn't throw it all in a million lifetimes. Right? Nah. Vegas is going to have fun. Oh my gosh. Vegas is going to have fun. Going what is the collection to inherit? Oh gosh. Look at all this stuff. It's crazy, man. Hot lips. <laughs> oh boy. What was, the, what was the one lore that you guys were so hyped up on and ended up being a dud? Oh man, there was a lot of those over the years. Whopper I mean, plopper. <laughs> I remember, like this is going to sound embarrassing, but I remember Bill Dance when he did the Dance's Eel. Oh, good call, yeah. Oh, I don't he did that. a Dance's Eel. Yeah. We have one up in the studio. He did a Dance's Crawl. He did all these cool baits, but it was, it was this bait that was like crankbait action okay. with a bill. But soft body. Oh. The marketing behind it was genius. I remember we oh, were the way hyped. Oh, looked in the water. Oh yeah, in the commercial. Yeah, we were hyped, and oh, of man. course, yeah, and of course, oh, there were I'll giant walk. bass eating it, and you know, oh, you were like, "I've got to have it." But I remember all of us getting them, and all of us saying, "Kind of like, you get anything on this thing yet?" Yeah, this uh -uh. thing's. So and it ended up right in the bottom of the box, you know, for almost all of us locally. Right. Here. It made a second comeback. Did it make a second comeback? Yeah, like. I don't know, six, seven years ago, all of a sudden they, they like put them back out there again. Maybe as a joke. Fooled everybody all them. over again. Yeah. Yeah. There was the Dance's Eel, Dance's Crawl, oh. the Man's Hard Worm. Yeah. Which was a hard plastic segmented. There's one of those up in the, up in the studio. Too. Body with a bill on it. Yeah. Um, it's a lot of baits that were sort of like duds. Yeah, Big Bass Level Leech. Leech. Snag proof yeah. leech. Snag proof yeah. leech. Dude. Doug Hannon was, I remember him having an impact because everything Doug Hannon did was big bass. Right. Like, like he a was lot of Yeah, guy. like a lot of you guys do with, with swim baits. Yeah. And I remember he had this one called, he did a lure with Burke and it was called the Doug Hannon Snake. Snatrix. I remember that. He did a Snatrix. He did a Snatrix. Snatrix was one. Then there was a snake. The snake, yeah. But the snake had a, a hollow foam snake head. That the line hook. ran through. Oh. It was a through line foam head that the line ran through, and then you attach it to a worm hook. Got it. And then it went to a snake no. body. Wasn't that it? 
No, I think I think the head, the hook was attached to the oh, head. Oh, was it one? It might have been one piece. Yeah, yeah, and then you put the snake body on right. that. So it's basically, you know, like you said, you know, a, a snake head that was foam that had the hook on it. And then you just, th you know, Texas rigged your snake body on there. And it was a big worm, wasn't it? Like, yeah, yeah. I seen it. Yeah. I, I, I was in a boat when somebody caught one. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, caught on. Were you guys waking out? Like, yeah. I was, yeah, I was young and he was the older guy. I was like, oh, that's wild, man. Yeah. I gotta have that. I gotta have that. So many gimmicks back in the day. Yeah. Um, man. And hey. Doug Hanna was backed with science, you know Oh, I mean? right, right. He was a scientific dude. Yeah. yeah. So you can't, you know. You science and whiskey. Him. He's back by. Yeah. Couldn't question him. <laughs> That's a deadly combo, man. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, that took you every day. Yeah. Yep. Dude, what, a, what a flashback, dude. Yo, thank you guys this for taking really this cool, man. down memory lane. This has been awesome. This is super to... cool for me, just as a fan of the sport and the culture. Yeah. And, you know, having you guys here and yeah. doing your, your come up. Glad to show it to you, man. It's, you. Uh, it's, it's nice remembering all the stuff and having flashbacks and... Uh, Keeps us going, you know. We're getting, we're getting old. We can, be, us two can barely get out of bed in the morning. But it's nice when you come out here and see this stuff and think about it. For sure, the memories are awesome, you know. It's, hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep fishing. If you got old crankbaits, send them to me. I'll take them. <laughs> you ain't never getting them back. <laughs> they're gonna go in. They're going into. This is like this. You know that the warehouse. Blue hole. This is the blue hole. Yeah, it's, it's the warehouse in the back of the museum where all the all the good stuff goes and <laughs> disappears. You know. Lost forever. Yeah, the Ark of the Covenant is buried in there. <laughs> the Ark of the Covenant. <laughs> this is so sick. Man, I just want to thank these guys for doing this for us. If you guys enjoyed it, go follow this man on his channel. Obviously, tune in to the Bass U and the Ike Lives. Every time these guys jump on, it's something. To I mean, look at this dude. <laughs> these are staying out, you know, these good swim baits. No, no, those things worth 175 bucks. I'm keeping oh, that <laughs> At least. Hi, bitch. That's it, man. Oh, gosh. You got any idea? A keyboard pirate, my man, that's how the lot track is. It's the bitch, you catch fish, get him in the net, quick, cast for another stick. That real deal, raw, uncut, still chasing PBs, cause it's never enough. My drag yeah. is to make a catch fish, get him in the neck, quick cash for another step. That real deal, raw, uncut, still chasing PBs, cause it's never enough. My Medium drag. light, graphite for the subtlest bites. Some bright blue skies, not a cloud in sight. It's dynamite when I drop, and the school ignites, pinning them down on the